The guitar I am holding is a Gibson Les Paul Custom model made in the year 1955. At that time, the Les Paul line consisted of the Junior, the TV model, the Special, the Standard, and the Custom. So custom doesn't mean that it was custom ordered, it just means that was the name of the model. This model was introduced in late 1953, and that model would have looked just like this one. It was made with these specs from late 53 through mid-1957. It features a single cutaway, solid mahogany body. The top is carved, but it does not have a maple cap the way the Les Paul standard did. The neck is also mahogany, but the wood is finished black. At that time, this model was offered, much as Henry Ford said, any color you want as long as it's black. They didn't offer custom color options. The fingerboard is ebony, and it has the low so-called fretless wonder frets, which are not much good for bending notes, but they're great with the heavy flat wound strings that Les Paul himself and many other players were using at that time. It was not really fretted with R&B players in mind who use the very light strings with a plain third and bend notes halfway across or more on the board. Back then, these guitars were typically played by people who were playing a variety of music, but not R&B, jazz, Les Paul himself was a jazz player, and they were using heavy flat wound strings and certainly a wound third. The custom features multiple bindings on the peg head, as well as the top edge and the back edge of the body, multiple bound. The inlays are mother of pearl, whereas the other models had perloid plastic inlays on the fingerboard but did have the Pearl logo on the peg head for the name Gibson. Typically, the other models were inscribed with a silk screen yellow paint for the model name. So Les Paul Jr., Les Paul TV, Les Paul Special, and the standard was simply called Les Paul Model. This guitar was the top-of-the-line instrument, the most expensive one in the Les Paul series at that time. Also features the gold-plated rib back, waffle back, Cluson gears. And has an Alnico 5 single coil soap bar pickup and a P90 single coil soap bar pickup. These pole magnets are adjustable up and down in height with these adjustment screws. And these screws here are the pole screws. And it has the ABR1 tunematic bridge and the stop tailpiece. The Les Paul Custom, when it came out in 53, was Gibson's first model to feature the use of a tunematic bridge. It has the barrel shape tone and volume knobs which end in late 55, because that's when they went to the bonnet shape with the curved. And this is a very good guitar, but this is the earliest version of the Les Paul Custom.